person. Where is he? I think I've already paid that person a lot of money to uh, to, to do a bit of a right card. So. Well, I guess that it doesn't matter who the winner is out of me and Adrian. The big winner is the Leukemia Foundation, and we're both very proud to be involved. Um, we both had a target of five thousand dollars and um, each, and um, I think we're both very close to that target. So, well done to all those people in our community that supported this very worthy cause. Um, I'm happy to lose my hair for the Leukemia Foundation and raise some valuable funds for the good work they do. <laughs> The one thing that we uh, we should do, um, Mark, and I think you'll agree, um, I'd like to invite uh, my team up. So, girls and, and the guys, if you'd like to come up, I just want to uh, just want to show you guys off. These guys have, uh, have been uh, down at McDonald's collecting money uh, every week. They uh, they do a wonderful job. Uh, it's strange, I know. I, I got the brunettes, and uh, I'm sure Mark almost the brunettes. <laughs> um, and I'm sure Mark would like to thank uh, his team as well. Girls, thank you for all your hard work. And, and the guys that are standing over there, uh, thank you very much. You should be up here too. Thank you for, uh, for everything you, you guys have put into it. And uh, I know you had a lot of fun in those. Uh, and, and try not to you know, pick, on, pick on the other guys too much when you're here. And of course, thanks to Henry and Kelsey for their hard work. They were out every week fundraising at McDonald's and of course selling the raffle tickets. And uh, without them, we wouldn't have raised the going for funds that we needed. So well done to all the girls. And of course, we've got Councillor Chris Whiting here today. I think Ken, uh, Chris is doing the shade. And we've got Karen Sullivan, the state member for Pummerstone, over there as well. And she's going to be doing some shaving. So I, I better be.
the next victims. Next up, we've got Sinead Burgess and Mark Ryan. Thank you, dude. 